Welcome to the testing word. In this session, we are going to understand OOP's concept, which is inheritance. So with the help of the inheritance, we can transfer the properties of a class to child class. Before moving to the inheritance concept, first of all, I'll show how we can write code without inheritance. So my requirement is I should have a class a which is going to create two methods sum and subtract and another user is going to create one more class like we are working in a team so person a is creating person one is creating class a with these two methods and person b wants three methods so he or she is going to create three methods which is sum sub and multiply so person one need to create two methods sum and subtract and the person two who is creating class b needs three methods first of all i'm going here inside my project i'm on a class a and this class is going to be created by the person a need to create two methods so i'm creating public void sum int a int b i'm taking two arguments and just printing the value of the sum of that so i'm printing a plus b one more method i'm going to create so per public void sub int a int b and a minus b so person one need to create a class A with these two methods. Now one more developer or one more person need to create a class B with three methods. As of now, we are not following any inheritance. So here person B is creating three methods with the name sum A plus B creating one more method which is sub int a and int b and i'm creating my third method which is multiply calling the method a into b so here my two developers has created two diff different independent classes but we see some code is common to these two classes because developer a need to be created sum and subtract developer b also need to create sum and subtract so these two methods seems to be common as of now if you want to call these methods so i'm going to the class c and here i'm creating main method and to call the a class method i can create a class object so here obj dot sum or sub so both a class method can be called by using the a class object and if you want to call the b class method you can create object of the class b by that we can call b class method which is sum, sub, and also multiply. So here, point need to be understand is that we have a lot of code which is duplicate. Here we can see sum and sub code is duplicate. Now we come to the inheritance. So with the help of the inheritance, we can transfer the properties of a class to another class. What does it mean? So if we inherit these two classes, so one class properties means one class access can be transferred to the another class so advantage of the inheritance is that we are not going to have this duplicate code i will show that how we are going to do it i'm just coming here so with the help of the inheritance we can transfer the properties of a class to another class to the child class inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and the behavior of the parent object so here in the class B, I'm going to inherit class A. 
For inheritance, we are using the keyword extends. I just extend the class A and now we need not to create these two methods because these methods already defined the parent. So here we have created a class B which is child class and the parent class is A. Child class is also called subclass and the parent class is super class. So child class B inherited parent class A. Now inheritance means parent properties are transferred to the child class. Transferring means parent properties, parent methods can be accessed by, by the child class object now. So here in the class C, I'm creating the object of the child class, which is B. Here we can see parent class having the method sum and sub and child class only multiply. So I'm coming to the class C. Here we have created the child class object. With the help of the child class object, I can call child class method, which is a multiply. Right, so I'm just calling multiply method. Also, because inheritance has been done between the class A and the class B, now child class object, which is a B class object, can access parent class method as well. So I'm calling the parent class method sum, which is 10. I'm just giving the input 10 and 4. And we can we can call other method of the parent class, which is subtract, giving the input like 150. Here we have seen with the child class object, we can call child class as well as parent class methods. So the same thing written over here, with the help of the inheritance, we can transfer the properties of a class to another class. Transferring means we are transferring the access of the method of parent class to the child class object. So same thing is written over here. Inheritance is a mechanism in which one object, which is a child class object, acquire all the properties and the behavior of the parent class object means it behave as a parent class object as well it can access parent class methods so with the help of the child class object we can call child class method as well as parent class method concept behind the inheritance is that you can create new classes which are built upon the existing classes structure means we already have ex existing class which have two methods so I need not to create these two methods again. I'm just using the existing structure, which is written in the class A and rest of the methods can be created. So means I'm using the basic structure, which is created by the class A. I'm reusing it and rest of the method created over here. When you inherit an existing class, you can reuse the methods and the field of the parent class and you can add your new methods as well. So it is saying like in parent class, whatever the methods or whatever the variables you have created, you can use that. And also you can create the new method as well. So here we can see we are creating new methods over here. Also, if you want to create, that's a parent class variable. So I'm creating like int i is equal to 100. So this int i is equal to 100 will be accessible to the child class and child class can create its own variables as well. Inheritance represent is a relationship. Is a relationship means we are creating a parent and the child relationship between the two classes. One more thing that need to be noticed over here, by creating the child class object, we can call child class, it is a child class method, as well as parent class method. So that's a parent class method. So by creating the object of the child class, we can access child class as well as parent class method. But if we create the object of parent class like this, I'm just giving the name obj1. By the parent class object, we can access only parent class method means sum and sub belongs to the parent class. So I can access that obj1 dot sum. But if we try to access the child class method by the parent class object, that is not possible. So here we can see we cannot access multiply method. So it's a one way flow only. One way flow means child object can access parent class method, but parent object cannot access child class method. So it's a one way flow only. So here we have seen what is inheritance and why we are going to use inheritance. Here we can see few advantages of the inheritance. So one is 
overriding is possible only with the inheritance. So one of the concept of the oops that is overriding, we are going to cover that part as well. That is possible only with inheritance. Also, we can reduce duplicate code. So we have already seen here in the child class, if we are not going for the inheritance, we have created three methods, which is sum, multiply and subtract. But sum and sub are common to between the parent and the child. So we need, we need not to create it again. So that's a remove of the duplicacy. So duplicate code is removed. We can call it ease of maintenance as well. In future, if we need to change the logic of these methods, if we create the duplicate method means if you are not going for the inheritance. So we'll have to make changes in the two different classes. But as of now, everything is unique. So in future, if you want to make change in the logic of some method, so you just need to go on one place and you will change the logic and it will be implemented everywhere. It will be used everywhere. So it's a ease of coding or we can say ease of maintenance. So here we have seen how we can use inheritance in Java and the keyword which is used for inheritance is extends. That's all we have for this inheritance session. Thanks for watching this video.